Welcome to the best newscast of your entire life. Now, I can't guarantee that this newscast will stay on YouTube. But I can guarantee you it will be on my website, maxfreedom.news. So, in case if I get censored or anything gets deplatformed, you just go straight onto my website and I'll be, you'll see this uh, smiling face. Huh, it's like, like that. Okay, so. Let's start off with um, some uh, insane news that's happening around uh, liberal cities. It's the smash and grab epidemic. Brazen mobs of thieves keep robbing stores across L.A., leaving shoppers highly concerned because it just won't stop. Terrible. Senseless and pointless. So we have been keeping our head on the swivel, make sure we are aware of our surroundings. They would pull on car doors and then they are just ran in like easily like 20 of them together. In Lakewood, Black Friday shopping turned to chaos at Home Depot when smash and grab thieves in ski masks stole every single sledgehammer and crowbar in the store. We're told up to 10 getaway cars were involved and that the thieves ranging in age from 15 to 20 even threatened a customer. Because the way they were grabbing those sledgehammers and like pointing them at people, like honestly, somebody really could have gotten hurt. Law enforcement officials say they are now investigating similar thefts at multiple hardware stores in L.A. We're told up to 400 sledgehammers were stolen on Black Friday. And since those are the weapons flash mobs often use to commit these robberies, there are concerns thieves could do it again. The former convict says he felt safer during his life of crime after his Oakland cannabis dispensary was ransacked last month. Listen to this. I was safer selling weed on the streets of Oakland than I am selling it legally. And that's a problem. That's crazy to even say, but that's just the reality I'm living in right now. It's happened again. Another damaged convenience store and a stolen ATM. They backed into the pump from that middle aisle. They backed right into it. Hit the ATM. This was on the floor, everything was on the floor. Pick up the ATM and they ran towards Baltimore City. Apurva Patel is the owner of the Exxon station at Montgomery Road and US-1 in Elkridge. He said the theft unfolded just before 3.30 Wednesday morning and was over in less than a couple of minutes. Two men pull up in a stolen white van, canvas the area, then back it into the store. They get out, pull the ATM into the van and drive away. Patel told us he's all too familiar with the ATM smash and grabs lately and thought he was prepared. It was bolted. It was bolted. It was bolted. Both of these machines were bolted on the floor. There's not much more you can do. Right? There's nothing else you can do. There is something you can do. It's called shoot them in the rear end. There you go. You put a bullet right up their bunghole and then they'll never come back again. That's the only solution. To this type of epidemic. It's called the Second Amendment. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I always crack myself up. All right, let's move on to the next one. This is a doozy. I'm Peter Doocy from Fox Towns. <laughs> no, I'm Peter Doocy. I'm Peter Doocy. Like, it looks like such a douche. A douche. Uh, Nancy, Nancy Pelosi. She's literally saying gibberish. I don't know what the hell she's saying. A stronger bill uh, than the, uh, the, it is, it's a bill that we could have freestanding or a bill that is in the Eagle Act that is part of the, um, the, um, uh, Mr. The, the Foreign Affairs Committee, Mr. Kendrick Meeks. No. <laughs> Gregory Meek, Bill, Kendrick, we're, we're, all, uh, we're all very sad about losing Carrie Meek this, this week, so uh, I referenced her son. But the chairman uh, Meek's bill in the, um, in, in the House, so we will have that. But you see, in a, def a defense, in a bill, whether it's in the we you, whatever that thing's called that they have in the Senate, or in a DOD bill, the Senate does not have the right to have a revenue or an appropriations matter. I don't know what the hell she's talking about. Do you know what she's saying? I don't know what she... that was. Uh, 
the? I can't believe that's what's running our government right now. Okay. Let's, uh... Howard Stern is a gigantic germaphobe. Howard Stern has now become a gigantic coward. As far as I remember, when I went to school, you had to get a measles vaccine, you had to get a mumps vaccine, you had to get... There was a ton of them, you guys. When are we going to stop putting up with the idiots in this country and just say, you now, it's mandatory to get vaccinated. F*** them, f*** their freedom. I want my freedom to live. The radio guys are the best. There were like four of them died. Four of them who were like ranting on the air, they will not get vaccinated. And then their dying words are, I wish I had been more into the vaccine. I wish I had taken it. So uh, Howard Stern, he's an old man. He's very fragile. He's very afraid of this virus and um he's also very jealous of donald trump let's read some quotes he has for donald trump and his fans because it's it's great comments pertaining to mega cult howard stern calm down your effing hillbilly friends and tell them you lost the election these loons who follow you are all worked up they think something was taken from them I'm thinking he's talking about the election. The oddity is the people Trump despises more love him the most. The people who are voting for Trump, for the most part, he wouldn't even let them in a effing hotel. He'd be disgusted by them. Go to Marga Largo. See if there's any people who look like you. I'm talking to you in the audience, the Trump voter who you know, idolize the guy. He despises you. I don't hate Donald. I hate you for voting for him. For not having intelligence. I hate you. I don't want you here. Howard Stern's quotes for uh, basically me. <laughs> I guess apparently I'm a hillbilly. Uh, or I, I am a hillbilly. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a hillbilly with one tooth. I vote for Donald Trump. I can't even do it, correct? I can't even be a hillbilly if I tried. Elon Musk is saying that we have a population issue. If we don't start cranking out the babies, we're going to have hell to pay. The, the fundamental constraint is labor. There are not enough people. I can't emphasize this enough. There are not enough people. Um, and I think one of the biggest risks to civilization is the low birth rate uh, uh, and the rapidly declining birth rate. Uh, it, is, it is, and yet so many people, including smart people, think that there are too many people in the world and think that the population is growing out of control. It's completely the opposite. Please look at the numbers. Uh, if people don't have more children, civilization is going to crumble. Mark my words. Boom, bidding, bam, boom. You just heard it from uh, Elon Musk himself. He's the first one. Well, he's one of the biggest ones to say it. Society as we know it will collapse if we don't have more babies. I'm a man. I can have a baby. I will just change sexes and then impregnate myself. And then I can have a baby, according to liberals, pump out that baby and then will save society. <laughs> that was really stupid. God damn, people are going to watch me and go, what the fuck is up with this guy? Oh, let's talk about Germany. Yes, I have a screw. Because Germany is screwing its citizens over. Uh, they've gone full totalitarian. Here's a clip of a grandma being arrested. Because she's not vaccinated. I have no clue what they're saying. But basically, they're like, they're like, you, gran you grannies, we're not vaccinated. You cannot be out here. That's trans. I'm translating. They're basically like, you granny, you can't be out here because you're unvaccinated. And then the guy who's like recording is probably like, what's up with this? And that one cop that's standing there is probably like, I'm just doing my job. 
last but not least, this well, this is the last video I got for you. It is a school in L.A. named Barack Obama, and they secretly start vaccinating children, and parents are not very happy about it. I should have been involved. Mariva Duarte says her 13-year-old son, a student at the Barack Obama Global Prep Academy in South L.A., brought home this vaccine card after having accepted the COVID-19 vaccine at school. She says he said yes when someone offered it in exchange for pizza. The lady that gave him the shot and signed the paper was the one that told my son, please do not say anything. I don't want to get in trouble. LAUSD says student matters are confidential and wouldn't comment specifically, but did say it's Safe Schools to Safe Steps incentive program is meant to ensure several steps are in place for vaccinated students to receive prizes not against the vaccine. She's vaccinated herself, but it's different with her son. Because he's got some underlying conditions that concern you? Yes. He has problems with asthma and allergy problems. But here's the problem. Kids in California cannot consent to vaccination. Attorney Jennifer Kennedy has been following the two cases against LAUSD over the vaccine mandate currently making their way through court. Both are ultimately seeking an end to that mandate. The LAUSD does not have the power to add a vaccine shot to the California school schedule. In California, school vaccines are... Okay, so here's my first, here's my first opinion about this whole thing okay first of all i would have my suspicions if a school's named barack obama okay that's like that's like your child becoming a communist because he went to a school named after joseph stalin and they're like what how, how could this happen your child went to a school named barack obama Liberals are a little nutty about the vaccine. You would think you would kind of put the two together, wouldn't you? You'd want to put your child in a different school. Move them away. That's all. Let's go. We're going to a school, We're going to a school named George Washington. Da da da. Or a school named after racist Thomas Jeff Thomas Jefferson. Or the one hundred dollar bill Benjamin Franklin School. Don't take him to the school that's named Barack Obama. Gah! This is common sense, people. Gah! All right, let's get on to some other news. Math. Whoops. Whoa. Math is now it may be racist. Math may be racist. This is a quote from a teacher. Kids should never have to change who they are to assimilate in classroom culture. I should change my instruction to fit their needs. Okay, lady, let me tell you something about... This is mathematics. Okay. There's no... If you get the wrong answer, you get the wrong answer. You tell them... You got the wrong answer. And you go, this is how you get the right answer. That's math. When you screw up math in the real world, you either lose money or people die. There's no other way about it. Okay, on to the next one. Last but not least, Jesse Smollett. I haven't covered this story because it's so goddamn stupid. Okay, so there's the news. And I guess I guess that ends the newscast. <laughs> I don't I just feel annoyed that I have to do this cuz I feel like I feel like I have to. I don't have to, but I feel like I have to. I have to I don't know. It just... I feel like I do a better newscast than most newscasts do. So have a nice day. And we're going to end with a beauty shot like this. Oh, yeah. All right.